Learning about the parts of the ear can help you understand how your child hears and about some of the common types of hearing loss. Watch this video to find out more about the ear and how hearing works. Let's begin by reviewing how different parts of the ear work. The ear has three parts, the outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. These parts work together to send information about sounds to the brain. This is how we hear. The outer ear includes the pinna, the part of the ear you can see, and the ear canal. These structures collect sound waves from the environment and direct them down the ear canal toward the eardrum. The middle ear is an air-filled space located between the eardrum and the inner ear. The middle ear contains three tiny middle ear bones known as ossicles. The middle ear bones connect the eardrum to the inner ear. When sound enters the ear canal, the eardrum vibrates, causing the middle ear bones to move. The movement of the middle ear bones amplifies these vibrations and sends them to the inner ear. The middle ear is connected to the back of the nose by the eustachian tube. When we yawn, swallow, or chew, the eustachian tube opens briefly to equalize the air pressure on either side of the eardrum, like when our ears pop during air travel. The inner ear includes a tiny coiled tube called the cochlea, which is the organ of hearing. It also has some other structures that help us maintain our balance. The cochlea is filled with fluid and thousands of tiny hair cells. Movement of the middle ear bones pushes on a little membrane at the entrance of the cochlea called the oval window. This causes the fluid inside the cochlea to move. When this occurs, the hairs bend converting the movement into electrical signals. These are then passed along the auditory nerve to the brain. The brain interprets this as sound. It is important to know how your child hears because it plays a key role in language and social development. Contact your local audiology clinic if you have concerns about your child's hearing or speech and language development, even if they have previously had a hearing check. 